And they're going to answer the affirmative to these questions because we, we've already practiced, so they're all prepped up. And, and then we actually went about our clerk of session for it. We're going to ask you to stand, and we're going to ask you some questions as well as uh, participants and members of our church body. And so I have some questions uh, for you all. The first one's the longest one. And I ask you, who is Jesus Christ? And your response is, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And then this question, trusting in the gracious mercy of God, will you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? If so, say, I will. Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love? If so, say, I will. And lastly, will you be a faithful member of this congregation, sharing its worship and ministry through your prayers and gifts, your study and service, and so fulfill your calling to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? If so, say, I will. Friends, I'm going to invite our clerk of session forward, and we're going to ask you all to stand. And she has a few questions, actually one question for you. Good morning. Well, I will ask the congregation a question, and if you agree, please say we will. Will we, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture these newest members by word and deed, with love and prayer, encouraging them to know and follow Christ? We will. we will. All right. Thank you. You guys can have a seat. Now, uh, we don't have time for each of you to share your deep, long story, but I will say Sprite and Sean are a pair, okay? And they bring three little girls, and they're upstairs, and they're a fun group of kids. And Ryan's uh, business is moving downtown, so he'll be coming downtown pretty soon. Sean's at UCLA, go Bruins, so we're not going to turn that anymore. Um, and serves uh, with mental health, helping students there at UCLA. You got Amy here who lives and works in downtown. You have Johnny who's commuting right now, but hoping to move closer in, in the days to come. And Les, who actually was a long time attendee years ago and coming back to our church. So has roots in, in, our, in our Japanese church here at Union Church, and we are so glad each of you are here. I'm going to ask all of you actually to step down here, but Amy and Les, I'm going to ask you to step in front of here. Um, and as they do that, um, I'm actually going to do a, a second thing. I'm kind of doing this a little backward, but we actually like to pray for our new members as well. Yes, Amy, why don't you stand in front here with Les? And I'm going to actually begin with the elders' prayer. And so we have these uh, leaders in our church called elders, and they like to pray for not only baptized members, but new members as well. So I'm going to ask anyone who is a, an elder of our church to stand and come forward. That includes our guest preacher, Greg Parker, and Elder Connie Kang. Of course, she's an elder. And you're going to lay hands on all of these new members as I say a prayer. And then we're going to uh, talk through the baptism of our two friends here in the front. And so, uh, why, don't you, why don't you head over here? We have a few over here. And any other elders in the room? I'm missing. Okay, so these are our leaders and servants of uh, this particular church and in our church, uh, actually uh, nationally and globally as well. So let me lead us in a prayer, elders, and then we'll do a baptismal prayer in a little bit. Lord, I thank you for these new members. Lord, membership is not magical. But in this day and age, they are saying, in a world that doesn't like to make commitments, we are committing not only to you, but a particular body of faith, in a particular place, with a particular history, with all of its quirks and all of its gifts and beauties. Lord, we thank you for these new members. Lord, they're not perfect. They know they're not perfect, but they love you. And we know that you love them. Each of them are your beloved. They don't have to do anything to earn your favor. They're not baptized for whatever reason. And they really wanted to get baptized as they became members and part of this church. And uh, I can tell you a little bit each one of them. Amy has a strong faith in the Lord and found her way to L.A. in our church and is just asking God to continue to use her as, as long as he's brought her here to this city. So we're so glad, Amy. That only you came to faith years ago and have gone on mission trips and is in one of our small groups and in the community. But I can't wait to see the different ways that God's going to use your gifts to be getting baptized now. And I'll tell you, Les is one of the most active friends in our church. He's helping to start an urban garden in our church nice. as an extension of his commitment to Christ. Urban gardens and helping. He wants to help people feed themselves. He wants to feed uh, people who are undernourished. He wants to help build businesses for people who need jobs. I mean, this is... This is the stuff that Jesus would do. And so they don't do this in order to earn God's favor. They do this because they know they're already loved. And this baptism really is a sign of 
God's love upon them. It's always been upon them, but this is like a, a visible sign, a public statement that God owns them, and because of that, they're free. That's what they're proclaiming here today. So, Les and Amy, are you both ready to be baptized today? If so, say yes. 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 So we're going to use the pouring of the water. I'm going to have Elder Rachel just come by. You're going to help hold a couple napkins, because sometimes Pastor Tim gets a little zealous. <laughs> it's the... It's the Baptist in me. I hear Baptist me fully dumped people. So I say, where's the super soaker anymore? But we have our wonderful baptismal thoughts. And we're going to be generous with the pouring. Because you know what it does? It reminds us the cleansing of the Lord. Okay? It reminds us also the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit soaking them up. And they're right now they're going to be with the, the witness on their head. It's reminding the Holy Spirit is on them. So exciting. What this all means, it's not magical what this baptism does, but it is. It's not only a public proclamation, but it's a very real sacrament. Somehow the Lord is in this. He told us to do this. I don't know why, but I know there's something special about it. And we know that you two know that you are special and done already. And so, Les Hamasaki, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the same way God is using you to plant literal gardens, may he use you to plant seeds in people's lives of hope, of renewal, of goodness, in the name and the power of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Amy Zaporeski, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In the same way that God called you at a young age to himself, may you be reminded that you are always his daughter. You are never alone. You are filled with the power of the Spirit. And he has called you here in the city for a purpose, to be a blessing. And may God bless you, Amy. And so, friends, I'm going to invite our elder Rachel here to say a closing baptismal prayer. And would you please stand for this portion, if you would, and pray for Amy and Les. Lord God, I thank you today for allowing us to be a part of um, your family, Lord, and to witness uh, to of your children, Lord, getting touched and being closer to who you would have them to be. Lord God, I ask that uh, you bless them both. Lord, that your Holy Spirit would just reign supremely in their life, Lord God. Um, Lord, not only here in this church, but in their everyday life, wherever you may place them. Uh, Lord, as a church, I ask that you give us wisdom and encouragement and hope that we can pass along to not only those who have just been baptized, Lord, but to the new members here as well. All this we ask in your name. Would you two stand and please face everyone? I know all of you can't see them right here. But um, would you please join me in welcoming our newest baptized members of the Union Church, Les and Amy. And all of the members are going to hover around after the service in that little welcome area with the snacks. So would you please greet all of them? Ryan, Shauna, Johnny, Les, and Amy. Let's continue in worship. Thank you, everyone.